I've changed my strategy and the gang stalkers still have yet to back off the rest of the way. And so I would like to remind them that the first sign of you meddling with my love life or that perhaps you planted this person and instead of backing off and letting love take its course, um, that you are meddling or, you know, that you do something which, we lost, which results in the loss of this woman from my life, then all bets are off. And I want to be on record showing you that not only have I allowed August to come and go, um, and perhaps I'm going to trim my brim, uh, beard soon, but I've made calm videos, and if these people do not leave me alone, then you all know what it is about. You can see I'm quite rational, um, quite logical, and they can't say anything about me being delusional because I have proved and I have proven that these people have contacted me themselves and have said flat out that they wish to destroy my life and that they want me to take my videos down. Uh, in the past, I think that was beginning of this year, maybe last year, the end of last year. It's on the Rawbot channel. It's on the same channel as this video. Just scroll all the way down. Well, not all the way down, but go down to the videos so you see the text messages on the screen. I believe it's part three of the, and that's some phone um, interviews as well. So even if, no matter how you look at it, you know, when somebody has threatened you in a certain way, um, it makes sense, it's reasonable for you to be reasonably uh, concerned, then you can't turn around and say, well, this person's paranoid and nobody's after him because somebody has said something to this effect. I also have pictures of people on uh, Facebook of people admitting that they've watched me. Um, you know, they, they found, they magically found my Facebook page before I put the link in the robot channel. And they said, remember when you said this, you know, I think it was like in February, you know, they referenced a time which was months ago, you know, so they, that's what stalking is. It's when you keep track of what someone says. You said, you said on this video, on this day, on CNN, you know, and months later they bring it up. So obviously they're following me and they're keeping track of what I do, you know. So there's no saying that it's all in my head. So I'm on record showing you that these people are stalking me, they are harassing me, and that I've offered them a way out um, of war. And also I filed complaints with the San Jose Police Department, Internal Affairs, and the Santa Clara County uh, Sheriff Department um, about the lack of objectivity of the deputies. And very likely the um, senior officers, senior staff as well. So not only, you know, have I been cordial, have I been fair, have I made my po points in a very concise and logical manner, I have articulated myself with a certain sophistication, but I have provided all these proofs and all this evidence. Okay? There's no jumping to the conclusions. There's no just, it's all in my head and I'm just the first sign that something's out of the ordinary that I, you know, freak out. I have a whole page on my Facebook dedicated just to the proofs and every one of them is a logical proof that corroborates my story. You know, so a logical mind would come to the conclusion that I'm correct. So, you know, where this is leading up to is that, you know, you all know what's at stake here. You all know that this is me being on record, you know, simply asking for um, the government to honor what they said on paper, you know. But instead, we see blatant contradictions from not only the government, but the same party. Watch this. Every nation, in every region, now has a decision to make. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. Every nation.
also any further harassment, stalking, or sabotage, or cyber attacks, you know, the logical conclusion is come from the same groups of people who have admitted to me, and I have the screenshots to prove it, and the pictures to prove it, flat out, and the, and the telephone recordings to prove it, flat out, that they are stalking me and harassing me, and that it's for the things that I've stated, which is completely illegal, completely wrong. Okay, but here we have George Bush saying that either you are with us or with the terrorists. So then why are you trying to make me a terrorist? You know, who's us? Is it the Satanists or the terrorists? And that's what all you've been showing me is people who behave in the same way as a Satanist. And the evidence would show that it is Satanists running the show, but we won't explore that. I've thoroughly explored that in my other videos. You know, we'll just call them greedy capitalists, you know, try to tone it down now let's see you know what has been said about by the neo conservatives and their allies such as the ex cia chief uh, general petraeus the first former cia chief david petraeus has suggested bringing in a moderate syrian terrorist group associated with al-qaeda to help fight against islamic state so you have done worse than what you've accused me of or anything that you could possibly accuse me of when I say that ISIS is more righteous than America. Well, you say either you are with us or we're the terrorists, then you say, well, we want to side with the terrorists against the other terrorists. So in order for you to win a, a capitalist war, it is okay to sympathize and support and arm and to suggest working with terrorists. But in order for me to secure my religious rights and freedoms and to protect the world it is not okay you know isn't that the very definition of hypocrisy let's see what your own ex-CIA operatives have to say about it Al-Qaeda has distanced itself from ISIL because of its aggressive, brutal expansion. However, working with the enemy might prove difficult as Al-Qaeda has been America's greatest threat and where ISIL originated from ISIL is certainly not a state. It was formerly Al-Qaeda's affiliate in Iraq. Everybody knows that this group merely changed its name, but it was Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And there's no question that we authorized this government to go after Al-Qaeda wherever they were. Mm. But Ray McGovern, who's a retired CIA officer, says that there's no such thing as a moderate terrorist group. Petraeus has a lot of support. He has a, a lot of support among the neocons, the neoconservatives oh. in this country, and the pro-Israeli, we could call them uh, the, the, the lobby, okay? Now, they would like to see continual war in Syria. They don't want anybody to win it, as long as the Sunni and Shia are at each other's throats, not only in Syria, but in, in the area at large, we consider that no outcome is the best outcome, and that indeed is what would happen if Petraeus has his way. So he's coming out with these outrageous suggestions that there might be some moderate rebels in Syria that could kind of cooperate with al-Nusra and, and maybe come and, and get up ISIS. Uh, don't pay any attention to Petraeus. There are no moderate rebels in Syria. Very interesting. So you can suggest uh, collaboration in great detail and nobody's going to do anything about it. You can reveal government secrets and have a bunch of money from covert operations and otherwise, you know, logically, and you get a $100,000 fine, you know. But if I merely state that ISIS is more righteous than America, even though I have no ties to them, you're telling me that that's how you're going to justify what you've been doing. When you all, we all know that I've reported gang stalking on record, on videos. And just ask me in the comments if you if you need a reference. The quickest way to contact me is on my James Jackson channel or, or reply to a James Jackson comment. But on record, I've said that this gang stalking was taking place long before I grew out my beard, long before I made the ISIS is more righteous than America series. In fact, that series was made out of anger as a result of you your group harassment. You know? That was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. So long before I ever say anything about converting to Islam, in fact, when I made that ISIS versus right, uh, uh, ISIS is more righteous than America series on Sid Jackson channel, I had stated that I am not a Muslim. 
but I have more respect for them because they are man, men of principle. So all this happened long before any conversion to Islam. There is no connection whatsoever between me and ISIS. Never made any plans to go to Syria or Iraq or any place like that. Um, never gave them funding. Never talked to them about any terrorist activities or committing any acts of terror. Okay, but you people have. You on record, you give them. They're, they're driving U.S. Humvees, and you on record supplied them guns to fight with Assad. And you on record are saying that we should we should team up with these people, and you're laying out strategies to do it. But you're gonna try to somehow justify what you've been doing to me using that, and you're gonna play stupid about all the evidence of countless people flat out saying that they are stalking me, and it's because of this. And one of them saying even giving me a week, say I'll give you a week. So make up your mind. You know, make up your mind. Nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Very interesting messages you people have been given. You know, the irony that uh, Jeb Bush, I believe George Bush's brother, is one of the candidates um, for the Republican nomination. You know, very ironic. I think it's quite pretentious, uh, quite disingenuous of, of you all to sit there and act like I'm the bad guy here with all the evidence on, you know, on the news, national television. You people admit to doing much worse than you, you could possibly accuse me of. You have nothing on me. You have no reason to harass me. And for you to fight wars based on trying to bring freedom to other countries while you, you know, I've defined freedom in my last video on my Facebook channel, you know, wearing the same shirt, I believe, or was it the gray shirt? It was one of those two, you know, the gray uh, short sleeve uh, t-shirt. It's one of those two uh, videos, okay? And freedom has to do with freedom from coercion, you know? If you're putting someone in a position where they pretty much have no choice, that's not true freedom. And that's part of the Merriam-Webster dictionary definition, not my definition. But I do agree with it. You know, I didn't give that definition. So now I'll end this um, by showing you that, yes, I may be in love. But, you know, love has allowed me to thoroughly control myself, which has just proved my point all the more. Because God is love is a major argument of Christianity. And they say, turn to God for your anxieties. And now, I, you know, I'm in more control than I've ever been in my entire life. Because I have love in my life. Which has always been my argument. You turn to God, turn to love, and it cures quote unquote mental disorders. Though I am in control, I am quite capable of warfare. You know, not a threat, but we'll call it a little demonstration. You know, 